Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're um, taking a time out from our reinvigorated prayer vox pop video, which has been really great hearing people's experiences and reflections upon the subject of prayer. Um, we've got two more to come, but this week in between, just thought I'd uh, carry on the theme of prayer, but from a different angle, really. And I came across a great um, metaphor this week, which deals with how prayer has a transforming influence over our lives. So we recently had a display in our church foyer windows because we open up onto the square and the local primary school brought in some pictures or paintings that they'd done um, so that people walking past and proud mums and dads could go and have a look at them. Um, what they are, you'll see, is each piece of work is actually like a window of four pictures and in the dead centre is a photograph of a rabbit, not any old rabbit, it's Pippin the class rabbit. Uh, and what the kids are encouraged to do is to look really closely and carefully at this picture for several minutes and then when they were ready to try and draw that picture in the top left hand corner as, as close to what they saw as they could. Um, after a week they were encouraged to go back to those drawings to look at the photograph a little bit more carefully to go to their drawing that they'd drawn and, and try to see if there were any sort of discrepancies there and a friend would sit next to them and they'd it, kind of give some tips about maybe some ways they could improve it you know the ears need to be a bit longer or the eyes need to be a bit smaller and they did this for four consecutive weeks and each week the drawings got a little bit better until the final week they were able to uh, to paint their rabbit and they produced some really lovely pieces of work. I just thought it was a great metaphor really for the way in which prayer and worship have a transforming effect on us because what they mean they force us to do is to come back and contemplate Christ face to face and um, to encounter him by his spirit uh, and through the ministry of the word and the spirit we begin to mirror him in our lives whether consciously or subconsciously we, he rubs off on us we become more like him and over time we have to keep on returning again to that wellspring of his presence to um, enjoy him and to leisurely enter into his presence and and it helps as well to have the feedback of the of the saints of the church of the fellow disciples and travelers on the way um, and over time as we keep coming back we're transformed into his likeness and our lives become a prayer really until one day on that final day when Jesus comes again he'll fill in all our meagre sketches with the full technicolour of his transforming power and glory. I love that verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 which says and we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory which is from the Lord who is the Spirit.